Oh, no, I'm down. Oh, is it like really, really bad or is it like... Uh, yeah, it's pretty bad. Oh my God, you really put your feet in there, hey? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have deja vu. <laughs> Thank you, sweetheart. <laughs> Good morning. Good night. <laughs> How did you sleep? It was actually a bit chilly, honestly. I know it's the summer and we literally bought sleeping bags that are supposed to go down to zero degrees, but I was still a little bit cold. Yeah, I woke up in the night actually and put on my rain covers, just put everything on because I was cold as well. Yeah, I think tonight I'm gonna put this on if we're camping. But it was all right, it was comfortable. So do you think you're well rested for day two on our Trans Euro Trail journey? <laughs> Knowing how it was yesterday, I don't know, but we'll give it a go anyway. But it is nice to be back in the tent and be able to look out there and look at that. It's green. You can hear the birds. You don't really sleep 100%, but it's a nice place to be. I think so too. But as cozy as it is here in the tent, we have a mission today. Yes, let me show you guys where we're we going to be heading today. So we are here and so far we have completed this much of the Trans Euro Trail and we still have a lot more to go. So today we are going to be continuing our way west through Kent and into our second county of the trip, East Sussex. I know I can't really say that but I really hope that sort of my skills are getting already better after one day on the road but... <laughs> Did you sort of decompress everything that happened overnight? I don't know. You've dreamed everything and now it's like all in there. To be fair, I'm scared and super excited at the same time. I think this is like sort of a hate-love relationship, hey? Yesterday was just the test ride. Yesterday was just getting started. Yes. Today, we're gonna smash it. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Anyway, it's already eight o'clock and we still have to pack up everything. So better hit the road, let's go. Okay. Perfect. Hoo are we ready to rock and rumble? Just about, eh? Just about. <laughs> no, I'm actually totally, totally ready. Yeah? Yes! you got a solid day of learning coming up today, that's for sure. I'm excited. It's going to be great. Cheers! I told that guy last night, I was like, oh, we'll probably be leaving about 9 o'clock. And then, um... It's now 10.30. So yeah, actually two reasons why we are so late this morning. The first reason is that we realized yesterday while checking the shots that my GoPro here at the front and my voice recording was actually very, very loud. Like the wind noises, they were really, really loud. So we did a few test rides this morning and trying to figure out where the noises are coming from. And then actually after the second test ride, I was like, yeah, you know what? My helmet feels really, really windy. Where is this wind coming from? And then I was looking around my helmet again and realized that my vents here on the top of my uh, helmet are open so i close them and the wind noise is gone and then the second reason why it took us so long this morning we realized yesterday as well that my gopro 360 max like the gopro this one here has a big big scratch on the lens and you can really really see it actually in the shot and the funny thing is as well this gopro has actually two lenses so the other lens is really scratched as well unfortunately this gopro didn't really survive our around the world trip so we looked up 
this company. What is the name again? CEX. So it's the company that I went to yesterday to pick up this GoPro 8. A GoPro Hero 8 for sale that I just bought for £175. So we thought we would have a little look online and see if there were any CEXs around this area that stocked any other GoPros. And can you believe it? There was one which is only 12 miles away in a town called Ashford and they have a GoPro Hero 9 for £200, which is actually only £25 more than I paid for this GoPro 8. Yeah, so we will head there now, pick up the GoPro and then hopefully our filming equipment will be completed and good enough. Yeah, exactly. I mean, this is kind of what it's all about the first few days is like getting our equipment sorted, getting our setup sorted and making sure that we're actually filming it in a nice way. We do this for a living. We can't be amateurs about this. We've got to be professionals. <laughs> we had to make a decision after the round the world trip as to what we were kind of going to do. And we just decided to carry on doing this. Yes, yeah, so every one of you, please subscribe. <laughs> and like, and comment, and share, and do everything you can basically to help us grow because we're really trying to make a go of this whole YouTube thing so that we can keep doing awesome trips like this and keep sharing them with you guys. Anyway, on to Ashford. On to Ashford. Oh. Is it Christmas? We have here a not brand spanking new secondhand gopro 9 ready for action okay say hello to the nine yes let's get on the trails so we are officially back on the tet <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Nice. it's only 12 o'clock hey <laughs> we have entered our first byway of the day are you ready kind of let's give it a go at least this byway is paved at the moment let's do it Mm, nice forestry already. Yeah, straight into the forest. Oh, and there goes the tarmac. Oh my god. Okay. All right, we're into it now. We're into the forest. Oh god. Okay, it doesn't look too muddy at the moment. Oh, you say that, oh, and no. then I just come to this bit. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. I mean, it has not been particularly dry this last week, guys. I mean, it's not been particularly dry this whole year so far. Yeah. We didn't really know what to expect in terms of how much mud there was going to be on this trail, but I think we are going to hit some spots, that's for sure. Uh-huh. I have to concentrate again. <laughs> oh. Okay. So I think, guys, you know, I'm just starting to learn riding. So I'm very, very inexperienced, but I'm very motivated to learn. And how do we learn the best? In doing. <laughs> Learning by doing. Absolutely. And don't worry, I'm here to help you to pick up the bike if you fall over. You! <laughs> I can see you bumping around. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it looks really muddy ahead. So oh just no! take it, just take it nice and slow. Yeah. And uh, just nice and slow through it. Yeah. And just keep in the middle. Oh, oh my I just Lordy put Lord. my foot in the mud. Okay. Oh no, this is, no, this is getting. Is it like really, really bad or is it like? Uh, yeah, it's pretty bad, but just for a section and then you get past it. Okay. I think I'm just going to wait at the end of it because it's not exactly the coolest, I must admit. There is a huge, huge oh, no. ditch here where some four wheel drivers have gone down. Oh no. Oh my God. It's so shit. <laughs> my... Oh no. You're probably going to get muddy feet, I'd say. Sweetheart, I don't know what, where to go. Just go straight. Look, there's a perfectly straight line in front of you. Perfectly straight. That's it. It's really deep, Ollie. Oh my God. I can't see my feet anymore. Just don't put your feet down. Oh my God. Oh my God, you really put your feet in there, hey? Yeah. Oh. Wow, the whole road is falling there. Oh god. <laughs> there we go. Yeah? That was practically a swamp. I can't believe that. 
I, seriously, I can't believe that. Wow, I'm actually so impressed with this trail at the moment. It's a little bit challenging, but actually quite easy to do as well at some parts. So we can actually get some speed up here and just, you know, try to work on my skills. Yeah, and how often do you get to like ride right through the middle of a forest? Yeah, exactly. Oh my God. Okay, wait a second. It's a little bit rocky here. Okay, yeah. Whoa. Okay, I think here we're going to the right. Okay. Oh. Okay, that was a funny turn. Whoop. There's a little bit of mud here, so this is good practice about see how much you can sort of stay without putting your feet down. Oh my god. But then be ready if you need to put your feet down. Otherwise, try to use balance. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> yeah, I put my feet on the ground a few times. For sure. Oh my god. <laughs> Because I know what everybody's going to be commenting. They're going to be commenting, get your feet up, stop putting them on the ground. Exactly. But guys, it's hard, guys. It's hard at the beginning. It is hard. But this is a really good practice, though, honestly. Just try to go through the sections, keeping your feet on the pegs, but just going in first gear, nice and easy, nice and slow, and just keeping your balance on top of the bike is just learning to balance on the bike and not using your feet as supports. Okay, try here. Just in front, okay? Look, just straight through the middle. Keep your feet on the pegs. In first gear. Okay, I did it! Okay, good. And then this bit, just going through that middle line. Stay in first oh, no, gear. no, I don't like that. Whoa! Okay, was well, slidey, but it's okay. I could like, sort of hover along. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> it's not working! It is not working! I'm just walking it through. <laughs> or walk it through, it's okay. Anyway, I can say that the trail has officially started now and we are well into it today. We are well into it. Sections like this I like. Look at that, that's awesome. These sections are the rewards yes. for going through the mud puddles. Yeah, okay. I have to see it like that, hey? Yeah, anyway, haven't fallen off so far today, no. so I'm happy with that. Yeah, it was pretty close though. Okay, just first gear here first gear yeah i have to wait for you to go ahead actually Oop. Oop. Hey. Hey. <laughs> yes keep it revving in first gear keep the pressure on yeah and uh you can see the bike will get through it we got chunky tires yeah i'm just sometimes don't trust my steering you know I'm like scared that I'm uh, steering in the wrong direction and hit something. As you go along, you'll get better at just steering yourself like this, you see? Yeah. Steering yourself around mm -hmm. at slow speeds, leaning, using your body. Oh my God, look at this. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, this is okay. Just up and over. It's fine. Okay, yep. Yeah. So first little hill. Yep. Oh, that was easy actually. If yeah, perfect. No problem. No problem. <laughs> my plan was just to go sort of down the side here. Oh my lordy lord. Are you sure? Shall I try it? I'll try it. Ready? <laughs> Whoa, nearly hit the tree. That actually wasn't so bad, apart from nearly hitting the tree. Oh my god. Okay, your turn. <laughs> <laughs> I think I will like probably go through the middle actually. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh uh. Let's go straight down the middle, you'll be fine. Do you think so? Think so? Yep. And uh, try to keep your feet up. <laughs> yep. Okay. That's it, that's it. Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> nice work. Cool. I did it! 
Brilliant. <laughs> and you kept your feet up the whole time. <laughs> yes, I did. That looks muddy. <laughs> oh my god. That was hairy and very scary. But made it through somehow. <laughs> okay, it looks like we've come across our first major obstacle of the trail. I mean, this is potentially impassable. Hmm. Just trying to see if there's any way that we can sort of break off these branches. I could potentially try to hold back here. Look. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this one, if I lift it up, maybe we can go underneath. Yeah. Just try this last bit. <laughs> yeah, perfect. That, that should work. You can ride my bike through yeah. and your bike. And I'll just hold up this one when you go through. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Oh no. Oh, did you knock your hair off? Yes, I knocked okay. my hair off. Ready? Yeah. Yes. Okay. On the other side. <laughs> good job, my Perfect. love. So where we are right now is actually a really good example of what's known as a Holloway Lane. So you can see how steep the bank is. It's like the road is sort of sunken down. Well, that shows that this road has been used for a long time, like hundreds of years. Okay, let me see. It's got to go up the middle here. Okay. Yep. Oh. Oh, I've fallen into the rut there. Okay. You okay? Yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, first hill. And my bike was strong enough. Oh, yeah. Oh, actually, guys, we haven't told you the names that we have given to our two bikes. So I think it's about time to introduce you to Ewan and Charlie. <laughs> What do you think? Of course, in honour of the great Ewan McGregor and Charlie Borman, the guys that pretty much inspired our Around the World trip. They left from the Ace Cafe in London on their long way round trip. We left from the Ace Cafe in London on our Around the World trip. So Lavi's bike is Ewan and my bike is Charlie. Whoa, talk about Holloway lanes. Look at this one. That's mad! Absolutely mad. So we were just riding through this beautiful town, Tenterton, and Lavi was like, I recognize this place. And I was like, I recognize it too. So we just checked our route from the Garmin that we did on the round the world trip, and we actually passed right down this road, right through this town, exactly here. <laughs> is that yeah it's really odd that you sort of like recognize the place you know i mean what is the chance hey yeah oh look at oh. all these guys wow those are a little bit bigger than ours aren't they <laughs> just a little bit hey but yeah just for this little two mile stretch on this road that we're on right now i think it was day four that we passed on this road two years ago we were in that lane right there on bumblebee heading out towards france and now we're bumbling around through the countryside falling over <laughs> <laughs> yeah different journey hey the whole different world
we've got some views coming here. Look at this. We're in the real countryside now. Nice. So they actually have points of interest uh, on this GPX Trans Euro Trail file that I got. And we've actually arrived at our first point of interest on the trail, Bodiam Castle. Which is over there, I think. Oh yeah. yeah. Cool. <laughs> There we go. There is a castle over there. Bodiam Castle or Bodiam Castle or something like that. That's nice, eh? That's what England's all about. It's all about the castles. It's about the Holloway lanes, the country roads, the castles. And fish and chip shops. And fish and chip shops. <laughs> so Bodiam Castle was built in 1385 by Sir Edward Dallingridge. And he was a knight and later promoted to Warden of London by King Richard II. So this guy mixed with like the highest circles of society. And he built this crazy castle during a time when there was like the Black Death and like a crazy war with France. But he had a really nice place. It's been a ruin for a long time though. So they reckon somewhere between the 15th and 17th century, the castle fell into disrepair and eventually became a ruin. And now the place is owned by the National Trust, but there's still a really cool moat. We can't see it from here. And a lot of the walls of the castle are still intact. So there you go, a little bit of English history. But we're just gonna admire it from here because we've got a trail to ride. Oh. Ollie just dropped his bike because he was sitting on it and now all his like the mirrors and the camera everything is ruined <laughs> Would you look at this guys Now tell me does anybody recognize this place? Or how about this little bit of garden right here? Well, if you've been following the series for a while, you'll know that we actually stayed right here on day, was it three or four? Tent set up. <laughs> Looks good. Tent set up. Tent set up. Tent set up. Tent set up. We stayed right there in the garden, in our tent. They allowed us to pitch the tent in the garden of the Route 1066 cafe here. But unfortunately, <laughs> it is closed. Oh, no. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We decided to come and take a look at the place. And it's pretty cool to be back here. And then we had all our stuff, our tent and all our crap here. And there was loads of motorcyclists here judging us. And we were like, no, no, we're going around the world. <laughs> wow, well, crazy, hey? Oh, nice to come back there, hey? Yes. But it's only four o'clock, so we have a little bit more trail that we can do. So we'll go a little bit further, and then we'll uh, have a look around and see what accommodation is available. Yes. So we're just entering the town of Battle. And this town is called Battle because the Battle of Hastings was fought, I don't know, here or somewhere around here, but it's named after the Battle of Hastings. And here up ahead is another point of interest that was on our Tet GPX file, and that is this sculpture commemorating the Battle of Hastings. Look at that. Nothing like a roundabout sculpture, hey? Now for those of you who don't know, the Battle of Hastings was in 1066, hence why the cafe was called the Route 1066 Cafe. And that battle was fought between William, Duke of Normandy, William the Conqueror, coming from France, against Harold, the King of England. And of course, the Normans won, and that's why we have so many French words in our language. The end. <laughs> so there we go, the town of battle commemorating the English defeat. Okay, it looks like we have come to a part of the trail that we can't do. And that's not because of the mud. It's because apparently there is an unsafe bridge. So this road is closed here. 
let me just have a quick look. I'm just going to see how we can get around. Ah, I see how we get around, yet. Yeah. Yep. And there's a dog that really doesn't want me to be here. <laughs> Don't want to be taking on any unsafe bridges, eh? No. No. No, no, we'll do the river. Are you sure? No, I will do the bridge. Oh. No. No? Do you think I'm allowed to do the bridge? I think so, just that there are Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fun. Trails like this are amazing. I love them. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my god. A little bit of up and down and a little bit of sliding, eh? Oh, no, I'm down. Oh, oh no. Wow, I mean, seriously. <laughs> What's going on? Sorry, Ewan. Okay. Three, Three two, one. It's all right. Looks all right, eh? Hey? That looks all right. Looks okay. I think so. Yeah. Okay. You got your bag muddy. <laughs> Instead of straight, I went like this. Hmm. Shouldn't do that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. Three, two, one, go. Okay. Okay. Yep. Yep. You're good. Okay. But now you made me walk, walk in, in the mud. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> okay. Oh, I love your bike. You're too good to me. There she is. So it's five o'clock now, I think. Let's have a little look on the map and see what we can find in terms of accommodation. Okay, so we've called up some campsites in the local area and it seems like the price here is around £12 per person, so £24 for the two of us. So we had a little look on booking.com and we actually found a room in Eastbourne, which is a town on the coast only nine miles south from here, and the room is £29. So it's literally like £5 more than the campsite, but the forecast for tonight doesn't look really good. It's already started raining a little bit and it looks like it's going to be getting worse. So we decided to book the room, £29. That means hopefully we can stay dry tonight, but it's starting to rain now, so we've got to get there. Okay, so we're looking for number 42. 42, 42, 36. A little bit further. 42. Here we go. Our home for the night. Good evening, guys. We made it. Happy and alive. <laughs> yes, we are out of the rain and in a cozy little room, which also means that we have power. So we have like a massive charging station going on down here with our drone batteries, GoPro batteries. Everything, absolutely everything. everything. It was a really, really cool trail today, actually. I can really feel my body. I just dropped my bike once, which is actually not too bad. I mean, the trail was really difficult. I can't believe it. That's three times better than yesterday. We did pretty good. And we managed to actually make quite a lot of distance, even though we started at about midday. We made, in total, 93 three miles today. Tomorrow, 200 miles. <laughs> We're getting somewhere now. We are getting somewhere. The weather is starting to look absolutely terrible outside, so I'm pretty glad to be inside for tonight. Yes, and that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below, and we will see you next time.